up ladies what's up what's up gentlemen it's your girl sweet cherry cola and i am checking in with you today with another video that i'm going to crank out and i just realized i should have put that video this video on my last video because it only takes me a second really to do um my foundation or face treatment or whatever i use because it's only a hot second so this video is going to probably be relatively shorter and um for once so yeah but all i use is some mineral uh, primer and of course like I said when I get when I start making my videos what happens I get freaking phone calls okay you know it's like no one ever really calls me except when I'm ready to do a video <sighs> anyway I'll call them back okay so I know right now you're seeing the glare but I want you just to see just what my face is for most people from a distance who don't really know my face, but when I photograph, when I model, it can show up. Um, my face is textured, okay? And I am also a darker skin diva, so, you know, it's soft, but then again, it's very textured. It's textured even to touch. You can kind of feel the ripples of my skin. So I like to elude that. I don't like that to be, I like to give an illusion that my skin is not textured and that these little... I don't have many dark spots on my skin. Like that little dark spot you see on my cheek has been there my whole life, so it's like a little beauty mark. Um, I've never had acne scars, so I never had acne. Had this a few pimples that I get around my menstrual, but that's about it. So what we're gonna do, because uh, I noticed some of you young ladies have commented and wrote in my videos or inbox saying, you know, I have very nice skin, I wanna thank you. So outside of doing what I'm doing, um, I take care of my skin. So, of course, I'm going to use one of my cleansing cloths that I have. And I use this, and this one actually keeps your skin relatively moisturized. And I'm going to get rid of any of this. And then, like, right here, my skin gets dry. Just by above the brow. Don't ask me why, it just does. And so I'm wiping off my skin. And that'll remove any residue. I let that dry. And then I'm going to use a little bit of um, AM Solutions. This is by um, Avon. And this puts a little bit of moisture into my skin. I just take a dab, just about that much, a dab. Okay, then I'm going to put on my skin. I mean, technically, I guess you could do this before you do your brows. I just want to do my brows first. And I'll ro I rotate so many times. But then I rub that on my skin. That, uh, and around my nose, my T-zone, where I tend to dry up. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to use a little bit of face primer, just one pump of some mineral face primer. The one I'm using again is by Elf Cosmetics. And I go with my forehead and I work it down to my cheek. And I know I don't put it on my eyes. And I work it down to just about my neck. When you use just a little, it keeps your skin from just feeling greasy. Now, I use, this is actually almost gone, but it is Black Radiance. I love this. Black Radiance uh, Concealer Stick and I believe like um, the darkest brown, or one of the darkest brown, I think it's the darkest brown, which is kind of like a, it matches my skin tone basically perfectly. It has a slight little red hue to it, just a slight but it actually gives me kind of a um, Caribbean look. I like it. And I love this. And I need to get some more. But I start with my eye. Because when I put it on, and my friends noticed, I was like, look, I'm really, it feels like I'm putting on just another layer of skin. Like, 
I know you probably think I'm like, wow, I can't really tell, but you see right here? I'm going to do one side, and then I pull it down and pull it back, just like that. I don't want to cover my whole face in it, but I pull it where it needs to go with my finger. And then I use my forehead. My forehead is summertime, it's a little darker. And then I pull. And then a little bit on my nose. Just so when you pull it and you get it to go as much as you can with the rest of your face, then and then my chin. See my chin? You get that wax, I got hair on my chin. Okay. So here's the undone side. You see the dark under the circle. Under and here you see it's a little bit faded. It's a little bit more natural. It's a little smoother. It just it polishes my skin a little more. And I can even go over. Now, when you're wearing a white blouse, I would suggest that you go um, very, very um, conservative on your amounts that you use. And especially if you're using, because you don't want them to get all on your blouse. Or to probably wear that to like, if you can, wear some type of scarf or liner around there that will keep from um, having any makeup marks if you're wearing a white button up. Okay, so there goes my foundation for the day okay so yeah so check out my next video that video will be finally my eye makeup which is a look that I'm stealing from uh, Muslims is my lovers <laughs> that she did it was called I believe it's called raving beauty electric let me see electric eye which she did um, September 5th of last year so Check me out then, and as always, I will be back with another video soon, okay? Thanks for watching. Bye.